Uh, is there a value of justice? The resolution asks whether justice ideology is starting from such questions of reconciliation between private rights and public laws, which commits uh, us to respecting the citizens' stance and society's free and equal in relation to every other member of that society involves. Public reason in relation of free and equal citizens to exercise ultimate political powers and collective body, but justice has state uh, the differences between citizens make it irreconcilable, uh, irreconcilable, viewing one another as free and equal, they are prepared to offer one another fair terms, right? That other citizens also accept this terms, this requires that others also accept them as free and equal citizens, not as dominating. For this contextual interpretation, society's views are found in this constitutive nature, i.e., a mass type of person has speech to know whether the has no need for athletic ability, whereas attracting a person requires the latter, not the former. Thus, the standards ensuring a person's dignity and equity prefer this one. In order to ensure that ethical standards are not arbitrary, we have to evaluate individuals intrinsically, groups worth is discarded, they're arbitrarily excluded from ethical evaluations as normative, but constraint for ethical systems makes sense at all. They have to avoid arbitrariness to be justified to society, too. Worth is an internal assumption to every ethical theory. We wouldn't need a system of ethics guide and personal interactions, e.g., by establishing individual rights and their correlative duties, since there will be no need to protect lives or interests or beings we didn't care about for the formation of every society to make some exchange of liberties for security so that individuals aren't threatened by another's pursuit of their own interests. This reciprocal arrangements are meant to be mutually beneficial to no one person to be taking priority over any other vibe. The function of just society return to requires that mutual respect for each person to have a basic liberties for regard to abstract moral questions rolls too. Justification is to address those who disagree with us and therefore must be always perceived from purposes that we public recognize as acceptable for establishing agreement on questions of justice consistent with there being free and equal persons. Thus the aim of justice is a practical disagreement sustains the good of all persons. Agreement philosophy cannot be obtained without improvement of basic liberties. This also in case my government's tie we should default to concepts we already assume to be true, i.e. respect people's worth, which would issue the underlying reason why things like torture are bad. I advocate that the U.S. ought to presume consent for organ procurement from the deceased all, except all this has also for the reserve the right to clarify contention one's organ donations. The gap between supply and demand for organ donations getting worse without presuming consent having gay. In 2002, 6,679 nations have died on U.S. organ waiting lists in spite of attempts to promote donations. Supply of organs cannot keep up waiting lists, but then growing steadily. Half of the families of abuse in the U.S. bring compare about 20% of France and France are presumed to that the impact. It's systemic. The supply is growing faster than demand. This comes first because it's occurs cyclically, whereas isolated impacts only occur once flu. So you still close after nations improve the quality of the huge number of NYOGN. One work to save up to a life save. Donor can also improve lives of up to 50 people by donating contingents more than 120,000 people in the U.S. are waiting for organs. Asian people die every day and every 10 minutes and others wait less to eat two or more than one million people need life saving tissues. Presumed consent is keeping increasing donation rates after day two. For 22 countries in the period of 1993 to 2002, presumed consent countries have on average 17.29 category donors per million population per year, 3.1 more than 4% of countries can include other determinants of organ donation, including wealth, medical expenditures, in all cases, roughly 26% higher donation rates for presumed consent countries report. The results I measure potentially relevant country characteristics such as religious beliefs, these system law and numbers of death in all cases of regression does not change substantially in addition to the carried out specification analysis in which we consider additional variables measuring edu education, medical infrastructure, the uh, presumed consent coefficient will be virtually unchanged. Prefer this evidence today is compared to between presumed consent and not presumed consent systems reject evidence from isolated examples of good donation rates and not presumed consent systems just because they're already high something they can't get better and be huge scopes of setting ten years but twenty two different countries community investigate trends over time and large scopes that's more likely to be true and see it are already controlled for a slew of potentially combined variables that's more likely to be Find causal relationship. Medicine is proved that there's a causal relationship between presumed consent and donation rates for Talia. We have reviewed guys studying comparing donation rates before and after presumed consent. A between the country compares the 13th of public professional attitudes to presumed consent, all important an increase in donation after presumed consent. For this evidence is A is medicine, so it doesn't just cherry pick isolated instances. Rather than that, it's a range of options. results in B. It implies that there's a multitude of different, study, uh, different studies that conclude similarly, so it comes first. A isolated studies are just not only fair, are analytical words for this increased dollar. Defaults are going to strike by first the decision makers that believe that defaults are suggested by recommended actions that many people avoid making decisions since it can be uh, stressful, but the default is effortless finding the defaults represent the stack over change involving a trade-off. Prefer my arguments since they're warranted both empirically and analytically, which is more indicative of other groups of error after the solve the issues and presume can that solve by increasing the supply of work that's disincentivizing and appropriate means of procurement laser. Presume consent is the best type of practice method of illegally obtaining organs and demand for organs are met equally the people who have less than to fail illegally obtain organs in the black market with dimensions as well as well more careful application rates and criteria uh, and ensure that organs are fresh because it eliminates the need to contact next kin thus to reduce time team death. Or rather the illegal market. Contention to this future mistake people are most likely to watch donate the uh, while live audience evil. Lucer's public opinion still strongly suggests the law of low rate donation is not an indication of unwillingness. Uh, this entity largely explain their tendency to prefer the statute of this. A large majority of those who have not reported their desired community are actually willing to do so. The current options of uh, just to translate family uncertainty into a refuse boost why most people know that uh, most likely want to contest things who wish to find protection are at risk of high high risk and they're more likely to communicate their wish society people wouldn't expect to be about papers to just forget not participate in an army draft. Moreover, the majority of people want to give the organs so we should presume that in order to maximize respect people's wish to guilt. About 70% of Americans would further donate their organs for transportation after death. Many uh, who want to donate are very good with their organs, presumed that the results of people's wishes being respected at least 70% of the time. This uh, constitutes an increase in 
come from wishes who are respect and respect, or uh, the gentleman stopped talking to those who respect what they would wish what they were alive, they'll do. With a living person, when we do something to our body, yes, or will we violate our autonomy? When we refrain, we do not, we do not have the same options with the person who is dead. The refrain will not allow the person to determine for herself, for they actually no longer possess the capacity, uh, whatever course back we take, we run the risk of committing some kind of mistake, so our goal should be to treat their bodies as they were wanted. Uh, this undermines not outweighs your autonomy. Our on strength of length and disease. You don't have the same autonomy concerns with the living, so we should just aim to avoid making uh, the mistake in people's choices and for access to rights of individual rights of life and their undeniably both aspects of people's dating needs. So the goal for a just society to be fine middle ground between two and under you one, presume ass with A's, that's the next time I I'm also at a disadvantage in terms of body arguments, which is ass and often spark the person who did the benefit of is the person who overcame starts to excuse and be ass one seven percent out of your rock that are thirty two thousand, so presumption is compensation or unequal voting to from the group no case on theories of the AFP to ensure proportional punch on neck theories of the series always notice for the seven minutes of the one hour that kills my time with the one AR and B. The one is the dash, so they get to pick a non predictable interpretation, get the app violence me the preemptive and explicit term interpretation that I don't provide any way. Okay. Ready to start? So your argument on the number two is just that you have RBF, right? Well, you can see that my guess number two, if you read, I'm not going to give you the one in. If you read the in the one AR, will you allow me to get RBF too? I don't see that question. Is that okay? Uh, see, Matt, are you going to trigger presumption? Uh, probably not. Probably not? I want you to say that you won't trigger presumption. Uh, there, there are no presumption triggers in the app. Okay, cool. Okay, so how does the contention, how does contention two link into your standard? So we should probably respect people's choices, like the autonomous choices that they make. Okay, so your argument is just on poverty. So your argument is just that most individuals want their organs to be donated. They, most people want their organs to be donated. We should adopt it and presume consent, right? Yeah. Okay. Where's your evidence indicate that most people want that, or that if they do want it, they don't just sign up and turn an opt-in system? Uh, so about seventy. So the Gill evidence, right? Okay. About so it says about that. How do they determine seventy percent of Americans? For uh, it's a Gallup poll from nineteen eighty three. Okay. Uh, yeah, the details. Okay. Cool. Um. So, what does your standard text mean? Okay. Uh, so what is your standard text to start? Yeah. Um, ensuring persons' dignity and equity. What does that mean? Or so, any clarification in the AC and what of what that means? Uh, no, but I would just argue that I mean you can make arguments as to why like my contention doesn't look good. Okay. Okay. Uh, but what what do you what, what do you say it means now? Okay. Sure. So the contention is contextualized at the first one. Wait. So about. your contention is contextualized a moral framework. I mean, okay, it's not like contextualizing, right? There are clearly other things that link to the framework. I, I know. I, I don't want to know. How, I just want to know what your frame, like, independent of the potential level often, what's the framework mean? Because I want to know whether or not it has to be another framework. Uh, okay, sure. You want to, like, ask about some arguments? I'll no, I, I just want to know what your standard means. Okay, so I probably can't speak to that question because the standard is, like, pretty vague. That's why there, there's a lot of turn graphs and impact being on the standard. So that's why my, like, first two contentions are broad range. Uh, include a broad range of okay. impacts. Did you read the entirety of the Retalia study? The article it's from? Uh, sure. Yeah. Wait, but in, like, the, conclusion, like, in the conclusion they did say, yep, in the conclusion they did say that they don't prove causation, right? Uh, sure. So can we disagree with Retalia study goes away? Um, I mean, I mean, if you make, our, I mean, you could read the end of the study against the evidence. Do you have the exact article? Uh, yes. Okay, uh, can you pull that up? We'll ask you some more questions, please. Uh, so, the oddity and gay evidence, your argument is just that this controls for variables, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, but the religion. Oh, right. uh, so, specifically religion, how do they control for religion? So, I read the study and I thought they said they compared Protestant versus Catholic. That doesn't, they still seem to have different religious beliefs, right? Um, like Protestants, I don't know. Like, probably. Okay, so. Hmm. So, the offense you get around is you need to win the oddity and gay evidence, the Rathalia. Well, I don't need to defend both. Like clearly, they're both. You, just you need to win one of those, right? Uh, yeah. To win Does that also, in order to win contention two, you need to win those arguments too? No. Why not? And then, it's like it's like, like you say, advantages and a utility. Okay, cool. You don't need to win all of them. Okay, can I see your case before you start prepping? Yeah. Okay. And the uh, top one. And final one. Okay. Can you pull the top one? Sorry. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Starting practice.
going to be one off, which is our plan, than AC. Actually, right below the counter plan, I'm going to make uh, some part. I'll, I'll make like turns, like generic turns the app, and you may want to float these separately from the app. Uh, so just like on the back of the sheet of paper that you float the uh, counter plan up on. So, let's go to the first advantage. 
the Abi Abbott, the Abadi and Gay Abbott, and the NYD Abbott don't matter. They're not often friend, they just explain the impact of organ uh, of organ procurement. There's no uh, so then let's go with the Abi and Gay Abbott. However, the problem is your argument doesn't specifically count for religion, because I have I've study too, uh, but the problem is that it talks about it talks compared to Protestant versus uh probably compared to Protestant versus Catholic, so it doesn't actually count for every uh, doesn't actually count for everything because there are different factors that can influence donation rates. Yeah. Okay, so uh, if you're not going to be able to, if you're not going to be able to count the different factors, like if you don't uh, count that because uh, the different religions that influence them have, it's going to influence. It's going to influence how. It's going to influence how they. Uh, it's going to influence. Okay, sorry, I'm just gonna stop. Uh, PC fails, other factors are actually root cause donate by California explains. California actually is rate 32.3 donor per million. This is a wide spread within European percent percent of donating rate from a high of Spain, 33.5 below, but we spy with a simple average 12.5 percent from a split percent average 12.1 percent from an explicit 10 donate rate variances. We're not statistically defended in this suggests that social, cultural, and operational factors are the legal structure play, for example, with more than 7% Roman Catholic population, average 16.3 percent of the population, or less than 7% Roman Catholic, 23 from only 9.1 percent religious kids, or far more dominant than presumed percent of European population. Additionally, European countries do not rely on presumed percent to recover. Donation prices require families to set by recovery of organs. This makes it clear that the variance in donation rates is a function of cultural and operational aspects rather than legal characteristics. That means that you don't actually, you don't actually account for some of these variables. Also, the very fact that they, uh, so you don't account for certain variables that they bought, that the Abbey Gay Abbey Cubby. Also, you always seek family consent, so it doesn't actually have an impact. You say you have reasons for your study, which is the comparative analysis. However, I think you prefer the before and after comparison because that's going to be able to better account for it. This evidence will be don't have to take into account. You say you've taken account for 10 years, however, there's no reason why that's better. None of them are tall. You, you can, can call the conclusion after round if you want. They say there's actually no correlation. There. They say just because there's correlation that doesn't mean apply causation, like you can literally read the conclusion if you want to. Right? Then the dog evidence, one, this is an analyst, will argue it's not specific. You're always going to be for an empirical evidence because it's going to be shown what's happening. You're not going to be empirical about it. Now, also, too, I think people are going to be unaware of the evidence more. Like why, uh, why do they accept the default? So I'm saying that that makes bad in their cases. Then the glazer evidence. I'd say this is going to be bad if you create a bruise assault because you, you don't actually solve the poverty, you don't actually solve the poverty impacts you're saying because people, uh, you, like, you may stop some organ trafficking, but people are still going to be in poverty, so there's still going to be conditions where they want to solve the organs. Then let's go to the uh, second part. So on the bottom of the people, I mean, you say people forget to think, they, they don't forget to think, there's no reason they act, if they're not, if they, 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 may not they, like, they may not actually have a vested interest in it. So that not be a reason to look for it. And also, you, you never, you never, you never, you never spend half a second link back to the standard calls on the event and go to Gil. I mean, these people want to uncover the counter plan purposes. It indicates that most people want to demand a choice. It also indicates that uh, the counter plan also indicates that people are going to be more likely their decision to respect the family can't overrule. Uh, so family can't overrule it. The counter plan is pretty clear. Uh, Gil to Evan says that we should do what people want. However, if they're not expressing it, the only way to make sure that people express it is to be counter plan. Uh, so counter plan, empty, and then turn to needs. I assume you want me to defend it unconditionally, if so, I will defend it unconditionally. Okay, sure. So the turns to the counter plan are net benefits to, I'm sorry, the turns to the app are net benefits to the counter plan. Uh, well, they'd be like reasons not to do the app, so that's why it can be to net benefits, right? If, I, if, if you have reasons to Okay, so the counter plan is all bad, because that's the app. Uh, yeah, I mean, that would probably be the argument. Okay, so right, it's all better than the app. Okay, sure. So why is it, so after, uh, the, why is it mutually exclusive if, like, after, why, like, well, couldn't we implement mandated choice for women people and presume consent after they die? Well, I, I'm not entirely sure what your argument is, like, but I think that the MRD, like, so because mandated so, choice is something you okay. decide while you're alive, so what is, like, answer, like, yes, I'll donate, no, I won't donate, or my family can choose for sure. me. Okay, so, so after they die, after they die, like, after people die without giving up, like, uh, a, which like homeless people or just like that who don't have things like tax forms to driver's licenses, how which way do we pursue? Okay, so the argument in the uh, sorry, in Draper Evan and people we have multiple gun measures. Mm -hmm. So that almost basic so basically uh, like you also have so it's it specifically says tax forms, uh, driver's license application statement, corporate claim and so forth. Okay. So you're able to create so, a system where some right, okay, I'm just asking like what about the people who like do not have those things? So you need to clarify that so, anyway. Well, I'd say that the Draper evidence indicates we have multiple redundant measures to solve for that. But if you want to say, like, you'd have to clarify how many people they actually have, because if you may, you, you Wait, may show that, like, 15 why? people don't. If, okay, no, even, if, like, even if, like, one person uh, does not, if it's one not person doesn't do it, choice, then that's, if I perm the entirety of the counter plan for everyone else, doesn't that mean that that one person is still not beneficial? To uh, I don't. I, mean, I don't. I don't see how you like. You have to make arguments. Okay. Like are there I don't see why it's not. Okay. But are there disadvantages to me making a claim like, um, you know, 
permanent counter plan for the living people who or permanent counter plan for everyone who can't except for those who like are homeless and things like that. Like is there a desire to do that? I mean coming up to capital. I mean I just think are you great for evidence solved for that? Okay. So like okay. So how do you how does the counter plan solve for the terms you're putting on the app? Okay, so the argument is one that it actually asks them what they're supposed to be doing, as opposed to a system of so they actually have to answer the question. Also, it talks about how we have an increase in education. So, like by asking, they like, having people answer the question, as opposed to just having a presumption that's going to be better, and two, the increase in education. Okay, so to, to allow the individual to understand what's going on. That's fine. So let's talk about uh, the uh, evidence you read from doing like California. Is yeah. that just specific to I don't know California or no? Okay, what uh, what is that evidence? Okay, so the argument says, it basically talks about how the experience, like, it, I mean, it's obviously from donate like California, but they're just like, well, we also have a really high donation rate here in California, we don't use presumed consent. So they give arguments of why presumed consent and the studies don't have to be found for that.
is I want to name The order is going to start with the app. Well, actually, okay, so it's going to start with the app framework really quickly. Um, and then it's going to be, I guess, an overview. Um, you can flow it wherever you want, I guess. Uh, you can get a new sheet of paper. It's just going to be like waiting um, for the contention and things like that. So you can flow that wherever, I guess. And then uh, it's going to go to the app contention and have one. Is everybody, uh, is everybody ready? Accepting number one justification and understanding in order to penetrate our ethical standards, non arbitrariness, we have to evaluate individuals intrinsically, and who's worth discard their arbitrarily suited from ethical evaluations and norm constraints for any ethical system to make sense at all. They have to avoid arbitrariness to be just by society. His uh, two arguments are for instance, one, uh, he will sense it's not ethical, uh, or it's not ethical, however, and then number two is that he, uh, he doesn't fault the item, I don't fault the disorders, have one. You can make arguments about why uh, about Julie might attention to that. Uh, argument doesn't make sense. Don't have to be for his strategic hierarchy. You need to be making those arguments for a way more specific to why the contention doesn't make sense. The two is, is that the contention, I have two contention under that that probably uh, function as offense. So you can just make way arguments to why his uh, comes first and three is that I, if not, uh, even if I like recontextualize the standard or to make link of different kinds of impacts in the standard, it's not a recontextualization of the standard, it's just weighing arguments then. Overview. The usual impacts of off contention one outweigh under my framework one extent bill two this indicates a violation of individual choices are inevitable. This means that we should aggregate rational and be maximally respect those wishes to misty. We have to prove the, the conditions necessary for our existence for those acting not acting will cause life and rational being fine attacked by some for the others. I do not and deny the unconditional value of rational being but persons who have well, which dictates that some must all give way for the sake of other things. Consideration dictates that one may sacrifice some state many extent number one and the justification that not are uh, arbitrary trainers means I have the best strength of the framework as usual is hundred percent objective recognizes each that <coughs> uh, second extent number three of the frame of justification that agreement between the citizens of the state uh, uh, dictates respect to dignity is necessary to put basic rational goods first headed. A government's primary obligation to the citizen interest of the national society represents not to the whole impulse of interest from a military security and well-being of its people have no more quality they rise from their existence in the national state in question come from the uh, national comity their necessities of uh, uh, national existence. Even if and even if uh, just sort of respecting people's rational choices and board system still uh, means utility since uh, the only way uh, actually since the only way to respect people's wishes by saying Implies that since everybody implicitly wishes for life and make choices for the future and no new way in the next week they have the opportunity to diverse rebuttal. You may turn to read defense, you have to make those arguments for the map new way for two hours now. This new way make new way to two air will force the intervention since restarts based white don't have to be for air strategic air moreover. Uh, go to the contention. Extend the app one evidence that the impact of the app and uh, 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 our argument is that the app impacts are systemic because people die, FDA can supply, and brand gaps growing, and then uh, extend the app and A2 evidence that presumes that it's GD increasing donation rates extent. The reason for that is that he's conceded that the A point that is comparative between presumes that not to consent to the system was jack evidence from isolated examples of good donation rates and not to consent to the system is just because they're already high to they can't get higher. This takes out this argument about Johnny Black now for instance, that's just an isolated A point that that's just an isolated instance, and he points that it is an argument why California has good the reason why that's not the reason why presumed consent can't make it better than extend the viewpoint that is the study of 10 years, 20 years, and eventually being investigated trend over time, large scale, so it's more likely to be true means that like, the argument about why uh, it's, you know, there's no reason that it's better doesn't make sense because his argument is probably compared to the better for me to have a huge range of studies more indicative of truth rather than just one isolated instance then. Uh, go to uh, the argument, and there's always risk problems on the app. His arguments, uh, his arguments are all uh, coming from isolated instances. Even if I'm not doing 100 percent causation, he's not doing that either. So uh, the uh, the counterplan, uh, the, I have a higher risk problems. However, uh, go to the counterplan. Oh, you have counterplan. Is that you can uh, firm the counter plan, do the counter plan for everyone except for the uh, do the counter plan for everyone except for those who can not participate in the system, i.e. through the draper efforts only clarifies a few things like the tax forms and state benefit forms and drive choices and things like that, but you can uh, there's always a risk offense for the net benefit because it means that uh, the, even if there's only one person who does not have access to these things, we still have to presume one way or the other. You can presume consent because there's no uh, disadvantage to doing so it means that go off all hundred percent of the offense coming in the counter plan, it doesn't matter, don't make it let him and don't let him make arguments but in the next speech about why draper evidence the indicates that you saw for this doesn't matter because there's no way you can uh, ensure 100% means there's always a risk of coming out of that benefit and uh, that's Okay. I had 15 seconds to start us, but
where you're going. Okay, um, let's see. Or it's going to be an overview to the round, and then it will be counter plan. Then the turns I made. Let me easy look. I'll, I'll try. I'll try and make it clear. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Okay. Start with an overview, though. Yeah. He's conceding that this is Shepard using Jacob at the PE, which he continues to link back in. Also, he's not spending enough time on counterplay. So let's just go to counterplay here. If I win counterplay, it's going to be the game over. So if any Draper probably wishes to say, it's like the solve the which is the solve the gap in counterplay tech today, which says we should drop it into the many choices only. Our response to this is the permanent issue of counterplay stuff. Those who don't want to have a one, the problem is he can be the Shepard using the Jacob analysis, which is a disadvantage, which is a disadvantage, which is why this kid wouldn't still, even if it's not mutual. So they compete through net benefits. Those are reasons to not. So they know there are reasons to not be after that. It, like counterplay compete through net benefits. You shouldn't have continued to shepherd even Jacob Evans. But two, you have no quantification of how many people you actually. Uh, you know, you have no quantification of how many people you actually solve. So you don't like it, it may be five people. You don't actually say how many people you solve. So there's no reason to have net benefit. Additionally, you can, uh, can't say he says the net benefit is a risk of offense on the app. Probably uh, if I'm winning defense, on, like the risk of offense isn't a sufficient net benefit. Also, I'm still uh, is a sufficient reason to do his perm. I'm still competing through net benefits. So that means you can send the A point, which is spill evidence, which is uh, which, which spill evidence, shows that people actually want to adopt this system managed choice. Additionally, it shows that 63% of people would uh, don't want to donate under, would, would want to donate under the system of managed choice. Except the Dale are going to talk about this empirically, confirm the system in Illinois. This all you can see which is going to be a reason you should prefer it to the AC evidence, since at least there's contestation over whether or not presumed that increase the ordination rate, whereas the arguments on the counter plan are 100% conceded. Uh, are 100% conceded. So that means I would turn to potential one. You also can see uh, the Cotter was talking about the fact that mandatory requires a uh, family, uh, it says that family cannot overturn decisions, meaning that I have an increase in autonomy because then we're actually respecting what if it's one which turns your contention to. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't kind of plan. Now let's go to Shepard Hughes and Jacob Devin. Extend the Shepard Hughes evidence to indicate that medical, uh, that certainly, uh, currently great is socioeconomic disparities, uh, and there are socioeconomic and racial disparities in medical supply too, yes, or in two doubts. So I'm saying that asking these groups who are actually to be the ones who support it, because they're the ones who are disproportionately exposed to, uh, to the idea of the, like, conditions where they would be asked to donate the organs is a bad thing. This is entirely easy to also see Jacob Evans talk about presumed that that's simply bad because there are barriers to donations that, uh, like, looking at the counterplay, looking at the counterplay, look like it, it increased in education or supposedly asking was better, even if they, like, so. Uh, these are conceded. You also concede the arguments that this obviously doesn't allow for equality and dignity if certain groups are being excluded. He, so, like, it's very, very clear offense. It's conceded into the 1AC grammar. So, now let's go to the AC grammar. He makes, like, he tries to extend arguments, like, that he's saying that, uh, like, I'm not saying his contentions don't link. Those arguments don't make any sense because what I was saying was that you said your standard is vague. That means that you should allow for me to link in my Shepherd Hughes and the Jacobs evidence because you can't clarify what it means. So I'm not contesting a standard or the ability of his contention to link in. What I am rather saying is that you have to, like, I'm just saying, grant me credence because you don't can't clarify what your standard means. So that means my impact should matter on your standard. So uh, under that, I've got the confused Shepherd Hughes and Jacob evidence, and the counterplan is turning all the offense in your case. So then, uh, also let's go to the arguments, like, he reads a lot of, like, misgeeing and evidence. However, it's unclear what exactly this means. He's reading this while extending the Gill evidence. The Gill evidence is specifically talk about autonomy. It's unclear how these two interact at all. Additionally, he didn't even tell you, if he didn't tell you what to do with this framework, you shouldn't evaluate it. Just, and also, you should be allowing, be allowing him to read a new framework in the last page, because it obviously conflicts with the arguments he read about. He read a standard respecting equality of equity and dignity. If I can see that standard, you can't read a new, you can't, like, you can't just restart the debate in the wire. He also extends warrants for a standard, so you can't have this conflict, uh, you can't have conflict. He also says that I can't do new weighing in the 2NR. However, one, this would create a time because he has 10 minutes away, whereas I have 7 minutes away. Additionally, I can't know what he's actually going to go for in the 1AR, and you're also re like trying to read a new framework in the 1AR, so I should definitely be allowed to weigh and explain how my impacts matter to that. So even if you buy his system, even if you buy his new uh, Utah arguments, then it doesn't matter because you're, like, you still have to win contention one's offense. But if I would counterplan turns contention one, I still function under it. Additionally, the Shepherd Hughes and the Jacob Evans would probably turn it because it, because I'd say like, Utah should probably say that systemic exclusion uh, is a bad thing because that prevents people like people being excluded from that. That's probably not fair. The reason that's a utilitarian harm. So uh, yeah, he's also not like explicitly extending any of the deal evidence or contention to. So the Cotter evidence turns that says I'm better at it. Also, the still evidence would be a reason it turns contention to. It shows most people want it. Uh, so it respects people's right. Doesn't allow families to overrule. Clearly, I want contention to. Now the only debate is contention one. So. 
problem is you can study Johnny Life California or can talk about other facts of what are what's actually uh, what are actually important. He says it's an isolated study, but no, it's not an isolated study. He's talking about what your study's talking about. Because it's saying that, like you can call this part after round is talking. It says there's a disparity between European uh, European presumed Senate countries. For example, Spain has presumed Senate at 33.5 donors per million, but Greece has presumed Senate at 5.7 uh, 5.7 donors per million. I'm saying that there are differences, there are skews in your study. Because for example, the Roman Catholic like specifically it analyzes what's happening in Roman Catholic versus non-Roman Catholic countries. So no, this is not an isolated study. It's accounting for what happened. You also say this is talking about California. Uh, no, it's not. It's also talking about uh, how it's better. You also aren't answering the second part of the card, which talks about how they don't. European countries don't even rely on presumed consent. Since if you still ask the family anyway, there's no reason you don't presume consent. So that'd be a clear reason that you don't have office right. You try and send me a body out of me gay other cover. Uh, this study is specifically critiquing work. Even if you send reasons to prefer, uh, that doesn't actually answer the argument. Then it lets you uh, extend those answers anyway. You can send the argument that is comparative cover. You, you can see in my response specifically which is uh, our reasons for the counterpoint because I said you prefer for a before and after second, which is failure evidence because that's actually what you can like that you can know what's going to happen, you know what happened in Illinois before the uh, managed switch law passed and what happened afterwards. So if the, the comparative argument doesn't take out don't, uh, donate like California, but I still have blame as to why they managed a choice argument at first. You also send the 10 years argument, however, there's no reason to donate like there's no reason to that means to actually my study, I said like it's talking is a comparison of your interesting consent countries, what happens to their donation rate. So here's how the round breaks down. You can see the terms of like your framework. You're trying to read a new framework. Don't brand any like you didn't explain what it means, you shouldn't vote on that. Counterplan turns all the offense in the case, and your consent increase why presumed consent doesn't increase more donation rates. Uh, what was the argument that you Uh, again, Abby, I said that you can take the argument that you said prefer before and after that was in the uh, 1NR, and I also said that that's an argument for the mandated choice counter plan, but it, you never explain how it takes out the joint like California evidence, because the joint like California evidence is just critiquing your study. It's not trying to like, it's just saying that you're not accounting for factors, so it can't be displayed. Because contention one, the utility impacts coming up to contention one has 
first. His arguments by I should get a new uh, framework. Uh, however, uh, obviously, I extend arguments from the essay from the frame, uh, from the framework or uh, from, from the framework because of the fact that uh, it's the same framework. It's just recontextualization using way analysis from the contention that his uh, next argument is that he needs to be able to weigh. But why do you have a chance to one and see yourself to weigh your terms and one and see anyways that uh, wasn't done? Moreover, he uh, the fact that he doesn't link into fact uh, link into maximizing rational thinking and anybody maximizing life is not uh, my problem. Then his he's a uh, he also takes out his time skew arguments because there's no time skew. He waited in seven minutes to one. He also he said that I didn't clarify the standard. However, uh, that's because I have two separate. Uh, he he had a chance to delink my clarification uh, of like extension into the framework. He didn't do that, so can't plan. I said, I said, part that you do the counterpoint for everyone except for those uh, who do, uh, who can't like a, a part partake. His argument is that it's not beneficial. I'll get, uh, I'll get to that in a second. His part, and the second is that there's no quantification, but that's a misunderstanding but of the permutation. It's a risk of a not benefit because even if there's only one person uh, that is not uh, able to uh, be subject to the mandate choice, it's still not beneficial because not in the entirety of the counterpoint. So we have the actual twelve then uh, off the turn. Uh, it's surprising he's conceding the after he's probably uh, not behind this issue if he's conceding more arguments why life uh, comes first. Except the after one evidence which the impact which means this life man got bored is the same thing he's after he gave you the same thing he's sent his giving because he donated away to you. Uh, except he brought for this evidence is compared between presumed that not just that systems reject ethics from iPhone examples. Uh, even if his arguments is right, uh, right about there's no risk of offense coming out of the counter plan, his, all, all his offense about all the, like, I guess, quote-unquote, turns the are contingent on him winning the counter plan. However, the firm is still risk of that benefit, so I, uh, because I also do that along with it, uh, kind of claim moreover, even even if that's not true, his arguments are still isolated instances where that I'm also extending argument about why he's studying 10 years over 22 different countries probably outweighs because it's way uh, more broad than his studies, so all that, although this can see this more indicative of their truth.